Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we will learn how to calculate the percentage of total sum in Salesforce reports. And this is a really helpful feature when you want to analyze the data especially in sales or financial reports. And by the end of this video you will be able to add percentage columns to your reports where you can see the percentage of calculated sum. So what we are going to do in this video. So we are going to create a report and then we will add a summary field to that report. And for calculating the percentage of total sum we will add a formula field that will calculate the percentage from the sum and after that we will add the percentage column to the report so let's move ahead and see the process of creating the report and calculating the percentage of total sum so right now i logged into my salesforce developer account and from here we need to navigate on the reports tab and for that you have to go to the app launcher and here search and select reports and if you are already in the sales application so from there you can directly click on the reports tab so as we click on reports it will redirect us on the reports tab so in this example i am going to create an opportunity report so for that i will first click on the new report button so for the opportunity report i have selected the category as opportunities and the report type here is going to be opportunities again and if you don't want to create any report from you can also select any existing reports so here i'm going to create a report so for that so here the report type is opportunities and then i will click on the start report button so what we are going to do first we need to apply filters to generate the records so for that i have set the range as all time and then click apply and now you will see the records on the report table so in this example i will calculate the percentage of the total of the amount of the opportunities so in this report i am going to group the reports from this stage so for that i will go to the outline tab and here i will group the report from the stage so now you can see the opportunities are grouped according to their respective stages and after this ensure that you have added the subtotal to the column so to add the subtotal first enable the subtotal slider button that you can see at the bottom of the report table so from here you can enable it like this and after activating this subtotal will appear here and after activating this subtotal slider you have to go to the field that you want to calculate so in this example i am calculating the subtotal of amount field so for that click on the drop down of that particular column that you want to calculate and then select summarize and then sum so now you can see this calculated subtotal is appearing in the amount column so as of now we have calculated the subtotal and now we need the percentage of this subtotal so for that we will add the formula column that will display the percentage of the total and for that go to the left sidebar and here click on the columns drop down and select add summary formula and now in this window enter the name of the column in, in which you want to display the percentage of total so here i'm going to enter the column name as amount total percentage and the formula output type we have to select here as percent and in the decimal points you have to select that either you want the decimal for the percentage or not so in this case i am going to put it as zero and after this go to the formula section and here we have to and here we have to type the formula that will calculate the percentage so the formula here is going to be the amount that is the field amount sum and then divided by parent group well so here we have to select the summary field like the field that we want to calculate the percentage of so here amount and its sum and then we have to select the grouping level so here I have selected the grouping level as close date. So to select the grouping level, we have to go to this how to apply this formula. Here you have to select the radio button, selected groups, and here select it is appearing as a stage, but here I need the close date. So I will copy the formula and then cancel it as of now. And here I will also add the close date now again i will add the summary level formula here and the column name what i have entered earlier so here we will again select the selected groups so here it will appear as close date here it is and after this we need to validate the formula 
so here it is giving error field amount sum does not exist so here i think it is case sensitive so i will enter it as and we will ch change it for the amount as well and after this we will again validate the formula so as so now it is showing valid and after the successful validation we will click on the apply button now i will slide till the corner to see the percentage column and here you can see this is the percentage column showing the percent of total amount and it is showing error because in some of the opportunities i haven't added the amount so this is how you can calculate the percentage of subtotal in salesforce report and after adding the column that is calculating the percentage we have to simply save in you can simply save and run the report and for and to save and run this report we will click on the save and run button so in my case it is new report so i have to enter the report name and the report unique name and after entering the report name and unique name you have to select the folder where you have to store this where you want to save this report and after selecting the folder click on the save button and as we click on the save the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window and here you can also view the percentage of the subtotal and in this example i have taken the amount field and you can also take any other currency field to calculate the to calculate the subtotal and find out the percentage using the summary level formula so this was all about calculating the percentage of grand total at summary level in salesforce reports and i hope that you like this video and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and uh, and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get so that every time we upload a video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye